So I know it's rather controversial to say, but I don't think you're ever going to improve yourself as a real estate agent. Very, very difficult to do. What you might need to do is reinvent yourself. And the reason for that is you've got a lot of habits that need to be changed. Welcome to today's morning meeting. I'm Greg Luther, the one guy that meets with you every day to help you in growing your real estate business. And today I want to talk about what it takes to make some habit changes in order to create bigger results for yourself. Now, I've been coaching realtors for over 24 years, and I've seen every type of personality, every life change that happens for people. And over and over, I see agents trying to get incremental gains rather than exponential changes within their business and frankly, their lifestyle. The fact is, you got to hate your current existence in order to create something new. You have to decide that where you're at is totally unacceptable if you're going to become more successful. Uh, many of you know that I join lots of mastermind groups myself as an attendee. So if you're in a mastermind group, the goal, the number one goal for me, if I'm joining a mastermind, I don't look at who's hosting it, how much it costs, none of that stuff. I want to know for sure that I am the dumbest person in the room. If I'm the dumbest person in the room, I will get very uncomfortable with who I am as a person, what I am in my business, the type of money that I'm making. If I'm the brokest person there, I will consistently want to strive higher. I'm going to want to do more. So a lot of the qualifications for me as far as do I want to be involved with this group of people is the pile rule. Is their pile of money bigger than my pile of money? If their pile of money is bigger, I can learn something from them. I want to surround myself with them, spend as much time as I can in their presence because that's how I'm going to get better. What I'm doing is deciding that I hate my current existence. I want to reinvent who I am. And you know, every single time I've gotten around people that are doing better than me, it's made my own business better. The last thing you ever want to do is spend your time around other people that are doing less than you, that have smaller goals than you, less ambition than you, lots of excuses for themselves. That person's not going to go anywhere. Well, one of those people you might be hanging out with every day is yourself. You thought I was going to say your spouse, didn't you? It's yourself. If you don't have those beliefs, if you don't have somebody that's pushing you to become better at what you're doing, it becomes the same old, same old every single day. You're doing the same thing. One year passes by, two years pass by, a decade passes by. I know you've seen this happen. And frankly, you may have seen it happening within your own real estate business as well. So what you have to start looking at is what can I do to get uncomfortable with my current existence, know that I deserve more, strive to get more, and do what it takes to get around those types of people. You know, a lot of people that join our masterminds or come to spend a day with me. I have my blueprint days where they'll fly in and spend the full day with me. The reason they want to get locked in a room with somebody that's smart enough to get their business going in the right direction is because they're uncomfortable with who they are as a person. Now, what you'll find is those that are comfortable with where they are, that want to stay where they're at, it would be incredibly uncomfortable for them to be around that type of person. You know what they say, that person's too big, they're too bold, they're too brash, they, they, it's not all about money, uh, they, do, they don't have a life at all. They'll make all these excuses so they can stay in their current existence. Now, you may have people like that at your office. You may have people like that with your brokerage or in your real estate groups or your local communities. You may even have that person as a spouse or a, a child or a parent or anything, anybody that's around you. Um, the goal for you, is to decide that you as a person are no longer comfortable with where you are, you want to do better. Doesn't matter what it is, if it's a bad habit that you have, if it's bad finances you have, if it's credit issues, if it's debt issues, whatever it is, if it's weight, if it's personality, any issues that you have that you're trying to improve on, you have to hate who you are in that existence in order to reinvent who you are with your most desirable person. So I want you to think about that as you choose the people you hang out with, the people you follow, the advice you take. Uh, you know, I've always said there's some people that you spend time with. There's others that you invest time with. You're probably not in a position in life that you can spend time because you'll never get that time back. It's gone. It's lost. And you've wasted an evening, a weekend, uh, maybe even flown to a, a, a meeting or a mastermind group or something. It was a complete waste of time because it was the wrong 
personality that you were hanging out with. That costs you money. That day will never come back. So for some real estate agents, you know, I mean, the average real estate agent in America is like 56 years old. So for some real estate agents, they have 19 summers left. 19. That's how many are left. They have 19 Christmases left, right? Do you want to continue your life on the path that you're on right now? Does it make sense? Is it the type of existence that you're looking for? So what you might need to do is think about if I were to reinvent myself, if I could invent a new Greg Luther, who would that be? What would he represent? How would he help society? Uh, what type of income would he make? What type of personality would he have? If you were to reinvent yourself, how would you restructure it? That is what you need to be striving for on a daily basis. Now, our real estate business, what you're doing every day, how you're funding your lifestyle that has a big portion to do with it, right? If you see yourself as driving a nice car, but you're driving a car that's broke down every week or you're Ubering or something, well, we got a long way to go, but you have to decide enough is enough. I'm going to reinvent, not just look for an incremental improvement. Now, the same is true, not only for yourself, but for your business as a whole. You know, If you've got marketing campaigns that aren't working well, sales letters that aren't working well, you can't make a tweak to them. You might need to throw them out completely and reinvent your marketing campaign. So I want you to think through that today. And really, your, your task for the day today is to decide on if you were to reinvent yourself, what changes would you make? A complete 180. I'm not talking about making incremental adjustments or improvements, just starting all over, what would you reinvent? Make sure you're following the channel here. Check out the uh, video description below. I think you have to click the more button. Check out the video description below. You'll get some great links to help you in growing your business, but make sure you're following the channel and you ring the bell, turn on notifications, so you'll get our next video. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm Greg Luther. And you're good luck now.